Hello everyone, I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. I've got a really exciting video for you all today as I will be ranking the top 10 pirate sets in my collection. Now again, these are only sets that are in my collection. If I do not own them, they cannot be in the top 10 list. This does not mean that I don't think other sets should be in the top 10 list, but I'm only ranking ones that I own. So let's get started. All right, so I think all but one of these sets have been reviewed on either my regular channel or the membership channel. So I won't be going super in depth in any of these, but if you want a closer look at any of them, there should be reviews available for most of them. I think only one of them was on the membership channel. So eight of the 10 have already been reviewed so that you can get a close up look at them. So to get us started at number 10, we have Cannon Cove. This comes from the Imperial Guards line from 1993 and is set 62 66. It's around 100 pieces and comes with three minifigures. This set was part of a bulk lot that was gifted to me. The original price for this set was only $17.50, and I will tell you the going rate for all of these sets, and so I don't have to repeat myself a bunch of times saying the same thing, I'm only going to tell you about the cheapest complete set for sale on Bricklink in the US. And I think for most of these it also includes the instruction manual. So right now the cheapest one available is around $60. So over triple the original price. I do love the Imperial Guards. I have a hard time deciding whether I like the Imperial Guards or Imperial Soldiers better, but I particularly love this set because of the printed brick patterned corner panel piece here. Also has a lerp, lots of classic parts like the flag, the cannon, amazing minifigures, and it comes on a very unique size base plate. It feels mean to put any set in the number 10 slot, but I truly love this set and would love to rank it higher if it weren't for how many great pirate sets there are. At number nine, we have Saber Island, an Imperial Soldier set from 1989. This is set 6265. It's around 100 pieces and also comes with three minifigures. It was originally only $15.50, but now goes for around $45. $5. Lego used to have a really interesting way of pricing sets. Most of these sets either ended in 50 cents or they were odd numbers like $29 or $66, very different from the way I see them pricing sets today. I love the gigantic flag that comes in this set, as well as the amazing little island base plate. An interesting story about this set is that I actually got it from a local toy auction when I was in middle school, I think around eighth grade, and we came across a small lot of vintage pirates and castle sets. Sets I'd probably not get to own today because I'm not willing to pay what they're currently going for on the market, but we got for a phenomenal deal at the time. Actually, I think the next set I'll show you is also from the same toy auction, but this is a truly iconic and wonderful little set. So at number eight, we have Lagoon Lockup, another fantastic Imperial Soldier set from 1991. This is set 6267. It's around 180 pieces and comes with five minifigures. And yes, this set did also come from the same toy auction. I lucked out that most of these minifigures were in perfect condition. I think I replaced a couple torsos at some point, but for the most part, everything was in really nice shape. This set was originally $29, but you now see it selling for closer to $90. I love the use of yellow in these sets. Comes with another wonderful large flag, classic palm tree, and one of my most favorite features is the cloth sail. An all-around gorgeous set for number eight. At number seven, we have Forbidden Island, a Pirates One set from 1989. It's set 6270 and is around 175 pieces and comes with four minifigures. And one of those minifigures is the classic Captain Redbeard the Pirate. Definitely a top favorite minifigure of mine. This set was a Christmas gift in the last couple of years from my parents. Definitely a surprise and a set I truly cherish. The original cost for the set was $37.50, but is now seen selling for around $95. It comes on this iconic base plate, something I wish we had seen more of, and all kinds of amazing unique parts like these rigging pieces, the rope bridge, giant Jolly Roger flag, and so much more. I definitely moved this set around in the rankings quite a bit and unfortunately had to settle at number seven. I wish I could have ranked it higher. I do love this set. 
At number six, we have Pirate's Ambush, a Pirate's One set from 1997. This is set 6249, and it's around 150 pieces and comes with three minifigures. This set was a very exciting bulk lot find in the last couple of years. Pirate stuff in bulk lots is super difficult to come across, and this is a particularly rare set. I remember when I found it, this flag had a Technic Axle wedged in it, and I was worried that would permanently damage the holes in the flag, but after washing and ironing it, it luckily went back to its normal shape. I know this is a smaller set, which might seem weird to have it ranked as high as it is, but it's just such a unique set. It comes on a more rare size base plate, and the minifigures are probably my favorite part of this set. They're pretty rare, which of course I love. I'm also a huge fan of Western sets, and so I think the use of these brown log-like pieces also made me rank this set higher. This set was shockingly only $22 when it was originally released least, and now the cheapest one on Bricklink is $112 absolute madness. But this is a great size set, comes with an alligator and a rope bridge that drops, so tons of playability. And it'll definitely stand out against your other pirate sets. So that's why it's number six. For number five, we have Skull Island, a Pirates 1 set from 1995. This is set 6279. It's around 375 pieces and comes with six minifigures. This one was also a bulk lot find, and I think it was from my most recent bulk lot purchase. Finding good bulk lots has become nearly impossible in the last three years, so I really only find maybe two or three good ones per year at this point. And now that I'm thinking about it, in 2024, I don't think I've gotten a single one yet. So super grateful to have found this one in a bulk lot. It was originally a $53 set and now is going for upwards of $225. Quite honestly, I think you might be able to part it together for cheaper than that. And sometimes at the point that I film these, it's just at a time that there aren't a lot available. So there could be more cheaper options in the future. This set has a ton of great minifigures and I love the use of red in this set. And of course the amazing skull build in the front. So all amazing reasons to put this set at number five. At number four, we have the largest set of my Pirates collection. Redbeard Runner, a Pirates 1 set from 1996. This is set 6289. It's around 700 pieces and comes with seven minifigures. This set was also a gift and is my one and only pirate ship. I had wanted a pirate ship my whole life and they're crazy expensive, so I had never saved to get one of these. I'd been spending my time saving for a monorail and getting a pirate ship was on my bucket list. So it was definitely a wonderful surprise. This set was originally $99, but now goes for around triple that price. Like I said, pretty much any pirate ship you want is going to be crazy expensive on the current market. I love the beautifully designed sails, the seven fantastic minifigures. I feel like I've had this set for around a year or so now, possibly longer. Time gets away from me. And now I realize I need to take it apart and wash it because I haven't wanted to take it apart. So it's definitely started to collect some dust. This set was also remade in the early 2000s. I don't know if it was specifically under the legend theme or if it was just around that time, just happened to be remade as well, but it was also known as Pirate Battleship and released under the number 6290 in 2001. I'm not sure how identical the sets are, but I think they're fairly close, but an all-around amazing set. I wish I could rank it higher, but now let's get to the top three. The sets in the number two and number three slots I debated on a lot, so you all can let me know if I misordered them. I moved them back and forth several times before landing on this being in the number three slot. This is Rock Island Refuge, a Pirates 1 set from 1991. It's set 6273, and it's around 375 pieces and comes with seven minifigures. Someone had gifted me a partial of this set and then I was able to complete it. It was missing the raised base plate, along with I think some like minifigure pieces and other random parts, but it had enough of it that it made it worth parting it together. And of course, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I am obsessed with raised base plates, which should be a hint for the number two and number one ranking sets in my Pirates collection. I love the unique size of this set because it comes on a raised base plate, but it also combines a 16 by 32 base plate on the end here. Even though it's only around 375 pieces, this set 
feels massive. It basically feels like a much larger Forbidden Island, which of course I love. Comes with Captain Redbeard, comes with a female pirate, which any set from this era that comes with female minifigures, I am a huge fan of. Also comes with a fabric sail, again, something I'm obsessed with, and all kinds of other iconic pieces. This set was originally $66, but now goes for around $250. Definitely crazy. But the base plate alone will rack you up quite a bit, and it's a base plate that is known to be very fragile, so it is understandable why. This set has so many great features, I could talk about about it forever. Already did since I did a review on it, so I won't say anything else about it, but there are so many reasons as to why I put this set at number three. For number two, we have a true classic, The Enchanted Island, which is an Islander set from 1994. This is set 6278. It's around 400 pieces and comes with seven minifigures. It's probably been years ago now that I reviewed this set, so it was really nice to get to build it for this video. I actually bought this as a partial set. This was another one that was missing the raised base plate. It had the other one, but I had to find the raised base plate. Ended up not being super happy with the quality of the raised base plate for this one, so it's been on my wanted list for a long time to try and find another one. Unfortunately, the studs are super easy to damage on the style of base plate. This was a set I always wanted as a kid. My brother had it, but luckily I got to play with it as much as I wanted to. We were always really great about sharing sets, so it was a childhood dream come true to finally get my own copy of this set. Probably why I ranked it so high is because of nostalgia. I was lucky enough to grow up when they remade a lot of great sets, this being one of them. Grew up in the Legend era as well, which was absolutely fantastic fantastic. The Islanders were such a cool sub-theme of pirates. They almost feel like they shouldn't be included, but they are technically a pirate's line. A few great sales within this set. The minifigures are amazing. Love the use of the double base plates. Anytime it's a double base plate set, it's going to be a high-ranking set for me. This set was originally $66. I could not find a complete copy of this set that included an instruction manual, but without the instruction manual, you're still looking at probably probably over $200 for this set today. Unfortunate, but it has a lot of great playability to it. I know from personal experience as a kid that that is the case, and I know it will never happen, but I would love to see this theme brought back. So now to the number one set. This set has just been added to my collection. I have not told anyone that I have it yet, so you all are seeing it here first, and therefore it has not been reviewed yet. But let's go to number one. All right, at number one, we have one of the most iconic Lego sets in Lego history, the Imperial Trading Post. This is an Imperial Guard set from 1992, which was a fantastic year. This is set 6277. It's around 600 pieces and comes with nine minifigures. And this set has been on my bucket list for an incredibly long time, basically since I discovered it on eBay as a child. It was an incredibly kind and generous gift from my birthday this year. I'm honestly still in shock that I own it. It's even more amazing in person than I imagined it would be. I don't think I've actually ever seen this set in person before. I loved the builds. This ship is so amazing. Like I've said repeatedly in this video, I love the cloth sails, great flags, the color scheme, the raised base plate, the amazing Admiral minifigure. I had never seen this before in person. Truly iconic, as well as this pirate with the brown vest, another minifigure I had never seen in person before. There was no way I could couldn't make this set number one. I can't wait to go in detail and review it for you all, but this set just feels like everything that is good about the Pirates theme. This set was originally $85, but is now going for over $400. I do completely understand why. It's rare. A lot of the parts are fragile. Lots of pirate minifigures. So many reasons to make this set valuable, but I do truly love it so much. And it could not have come at a better time as I'd been planning to make this video for a while now. And I'm glad I hadn't already made it when the set came in. Again, these are just the top 10 pirate sets that I actually own. There are so many more that are amazing. Some that would definitely outrank some of the lower ranking ones I put in this video. I just don't currently own them. So as far as the top 10 that I own, what would be your number one? Did I pick correctly or would you have chosen a different one? 
Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra videos and content, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. There are already over 45 episodes available. See you all next time.